Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Iman and we are watching Outlander. This is episode seven. I believe it's creme de mint. Mint. Cream of mint, mint of cream. I think mint, mint, menthe, mente. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I think that's mint. We're gonna jump into this. Claire was just taken hostage <laughs> by some bald man in uh, Jamie's room. So we're gonna see what's going on. Let's do this. Good. Oh shit. Oh yes, was that a rug? Did he trip over a rug? If you've watched Breaking Bad, Ted had a very bad experience with a rug. Rugs are quite dangerous. What the devil happened? The drama is already happening. You've been back for a day, Claire. <laughs> you just killed a man. Welcome back to Scotland. 200 years ago. He's breathing. This has to knock. Let God take him. <laughs> when this man does not return, Sir Percival will come around looking for him. That is oh. quite a problem, considering the cask is supposed to be searching for. Are oh, hidden in my basement. Oh. Else. I'm an experienced healer. I would be happy to treat your sister if you just allow me to go ahead of you. Free of charge. In recognition of my generosity. Of course. Please, Superior Brandy. You can charge more for that and make a broad profit. Fifty. <laughs> I'm the one taking all the risk possessing your contraband. Uh -huh. 75 pounds, and you'll get three casks at the creme de menthe as well. Creme de menthe. Lady was fearless in the battles prior to Culloden. She would heal men who'd been cut in half by swords, blown to pieces by cannon. If Auntie Claire was forced to kill men, likely they deserved it. Even so, she has created a bit of a catastrophe, no? Aye. <laughs> to see for yourself. Of course I am. I certainly don't need your permission. Oh my God. All right. Go, oh, Claire. Wow. How far did this, you know, how does she know when to stop? Is that Brandy? Oh my God. Just water. Oh. We have a leak. It is why I cannot store anything of value down here. <sighs> How can we be sure? I've searched. Well, he's dead. Oh, he died. So, you've got your wish. Honorable wife fought hard for his life. Mm -hmm. Put best foot forward. In years, to respecting human life, mm -hmm. to healing people without judgment. Often lose a patient. The other chance is to put your knowledge and skills to use. You will return afterward. Of course. No. I knew that that would be a thing. Like kind of like a separation, anxiety. Jamie chose Claire, and Claire is a busy woman. He's got to love that about her. I've been meaning to ask you, does French brandy really increase the firmness of a cock stand? Excuse me, <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing? Tonight is the night you do more than just look. I've never baited a lass before. Then this is your opportunity, brother. <laughs> Fifteen, a menage a trois. Oh, the reason? Two women and one more. What? That was your first at 15? Religious experience. Damn, well, all right, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> this seems more of a mental health situation. Brought someone to see you. Will you no look alive? Just from his explanation, but I don't know. Given her? A few drops of laudanum to um. keep her calm. Do you hear the tree toads lullaby? Mm -hmm. A 
and the moon. The moon be choking with blood. You must be careful. Abanda, we will devour it. But isn't able to articulate what she sees. Without me to decipher the message, oh, that sucks. her visions are no more than raving gibberish. Does she have trouble sleeping? Well, from what I can discern, your sister isn't to see her. She's suffering from a, a mental disorder. <laughs> Aye. As I told you earlier, Margaret's been soft in the head since she was a bear. <laughs> when she has her wits about her, she marches up to strangers, she touches them. And tells them things they didn't ask to hear. Mm -hmm. Scares them something awful sometimes, putting me in a very difficult position. It's different when they come seeking her talents. Because I can charge them then, you see. Ugh. So it's being exploited. And Margaret, you get to the West Indies. Make sure she eats plenty of fresh fruit. And please, no more laudanum. No more laudanum. Yeah, that's like a hard one. She's crying. Can't even do anything. You can't do anything. Like she can't tell him, no, you can't do that. Or I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna take her out of here. Like, there's nothing she can do. That's really tough. But she'll be back. Claire's gonna come back. We're gonna see this woman again. Okay. Well, I guess it worked out between them. Jeez. Really? Wait, what? This is for your first time? Uh, what are you doing? Yeah, wait. I've seen some of the hoods do it like this. I, but I'm not a hood. <laughs> I'm not a hood. I'm not a hood. Tell me how you like it. Well, that's, that's a... There you go. Well, that's it. That's all you need. Men, and I'll show you. Take the notes. <laughs> that's it. What have you done with the body? The lads hid it in a cask of creme de moth. Oh. Stored along with the others at my warehouse. Won't someone look inside the cask sooner or later? Not for a long while. Alcohol slows the decay. Yeah, but what wasn't he? Wasn't Ian selling three of those? Oh no! Well, what's he doing here? Likely looking for young Ian. Oh, Ian, Ian. Then I mention that you've seen him. Oh my god, there's so many secrets. She's come into too many secrets. He's like, Jenny will literally kill me and you. Yeah. Don't touch me. Yeah. No. Claire? So good to see you. <laughs> Jenny and I, we grieved over you for years. Mm -hmm. Where on earth have you been all this time? She's gonna have to start explaining this. How long has the lad been gone? Weeks. Weeks. The last time I saw him ran away, he came to see you. I've seen him. Not since I sent him home with Fergus months ago. Oh, Christ, Jamie. But Jenny is woefully distressed. Yeah. What if he's been taken by a press gang? If not that were to happen, we'd never see him again. Why are they lying to him? Promise me, if he should turn up here, you'll bring him straight home. <sighs> That's uncomfortable. That's a big lie. That's too big of a lie. Not to end to Ian, he's such a good man. Goodbye for now, Claire. I hope to see you and Jenny very soon. Claire must have taken your news well. I haven't told you yet. I'm waiting for the proper time. So much has arrived. You may be waiting for Evelyn. Okay, so I keep going back on this. Maybe he is remarried. I don't know, Jamie. This new Jamie's getting is a little frustrating. <laughs> Like, I'm not gonna lie. You better go now. Well, what about you? Oh my god. Ian. Yeah. There's oh nothing god. here. Now get out. I know that you're party to your uncle smuggling. Okay, stop. Get away from there. I'm so worried. He's... Oh my gosh. One person already hit their head and died. Your uncle's been a busy man. Oh shoot. Oh no. <gasps> oh sh Oh good. Well. Oh, it's the firefighting, the water in the beginning of the episode. Get out, please. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? Why does it have to be so stressful? Jenny and Ian don't 
him what's best for the lad. I'm the only one teaching him the ways of the world. Yeah, we lied our way through Paris, did we not? Yeah, but that's... Light your family. Right a white lie to conceal something that Ian can't possibly understand. Oh, I didn't realize lies had she. <laughs> I mean, damn. But I didn't get to reach her, did I? Oh my god, stop! I didn't have a say in how stop. you and Frank brought her up. Oh, of course, this isn't gonna be so simple coming back. Wretched thing you call it. <laughs> Forgotten how bloody rigid this is. Yeah. <laughs> well, a woman is either a Madonna right. or a whore. So, there's a fire in Carfax clothes. Fire? Red job. Ian. What was he doing? Young Ian. Sleep at the. Gosh. Oh, how long has he been in there? Oh. Man. Ian will never forget his first time. Sedition is farce. High treason is a capital crime. The lady does not yet know about you are the wife. Okay. Of course. And I wonder if it's the lady at the maid servant at Lalibra. God, thing. <laughs> this is just all about ups and downs. Ups and back down. <laughs> Man. Craziness. Crazy but awesome. Can't can't complain. I I love this show. But my god, can it get like you're just like, can we just have a win? Just one win. Sheesh, so much happened. 20 years, 14 years, however long. Like, Claire has become her own woman, more so. She She's so lucky. Uh, it, it really makes me think of pri privileges, different privilege. I think, I think that that's a very, um, it's a very interesting word that's been used a lot, especially within the last few years, privilege. And I, I like to believe that there's different types of privileges. I think in Claire's case, the privilege she's gotten was basically her upbringing, her schooling. Basically, she's had the privilege of finding who she is and who her story, like what her story is in this world, who she is as a, as a person, what her purpose is. And so many of us don't get to do that. And a lot of people, um, and, you know, especially in those times, women, did not have those privileges. So a lot of women didn't really get to see their, um, what they could have been. A lot of, not to say that you should regret that or what your life ended up being, but I think we're capable of so much in this world and a lot of us just won't ever get that opportunity because of a lack of, of privileges, basically. She's gotten to this place now where she's a beautiful human who who knows her purpose she is a healer she's extremely good at what she does and it's just been a beautiful journey watching claire's personal journey not with just jamie not with frank not as a mom but her personal gift to the world and that is the reality that all of us each one of us man or woman doesn't matter or whatever you identify as you are capable of so much in this world, but what is it? And that's the thing of like, not all of us are going to be able to find what it is or have enough time or we're distracted or whatever the case is, we may not get there, but I hope that we can. And so it's just a beautiful thing to see that. Now with Jamie, he is interesting to me now because He's changed so much. I feel like Claire has really been Claire the whole time. Like she's pretty much the same person. She's just she's just a good soul. She's, you, and you can't change that. She's just she she's one of those people. I mean, we have to remember what happened the last season. It ended with her taking care of um, 
uh, Captain Jack Randall's brother and healing him or trying to heal him and being in the same room as him and it, it's like she, only Claire could do that. So Claire is who Claire is. Jamie is not the same person. He, I think to his core, he is like he, he has to do what he has to do. He's surviving at this point and this, given the circumstances, his circumstances, I'm not judging him, I'm really not. I'm just saying that he's changed a lot. But who knows, maybe Claire would have changed too if she was back there and other things were going on with her too. Like he's been through. He, there's more trauma on him, the PTSD from what happened to him with, with, with Randall, with the prison sentence, with almost being hanged at certain points, with the war. He's got a lot of PTSD and I can't judge who he is, it's just how the world works. And now the, the beautiful and interesting part about this series is he has changed, Claire loves him still, but he has good reason to have changed. Well, what do we do now? Like, okay, you guys still love each other, but you're now remarried. You're very, very different. And you're kind of shady now. Claire is a person who wants the right things. So how does she figure out how to bypass the, the muck and get find her husband again and hold him just like she did when he was assaulted all those years ago? and loved him through that, can she love him through this now? And that's so hard. Life's not perfect, it's really not easy, so it's, it's just beautiful to see the hardships that they continue to go through. And again, given their environmental circumstances, given their time frame circumstances, like I can't judge anything, because I don't know how I would be if I was a man, if I was Scottish, if I lived in that time period I, and went through all the stuff he went through, I don't know. So I'm just sitting here as a nice spectator in a, the comfort of my home. You know, I I can feel and have feelings towards him which are warranted because I am annoyed with him, but, but it makes sense. This is who he is right now. This is what's going, this is, if you love someone, I guess you need to either accept them and you know, you work through it or you you don't, and, and I think it's fair if you don't either. I think if it's too much, it's too much. But again, this is the story of Claire and Jamie. But what happens now? I don't know. God, this story is so good. It's so good. And they're gonna, she's going to go meet his wife. Oh my God. Hey, how does this work? I don't, I don't know. I just don't like that he, he lied to Ian. I, I think Ian is such a good man a good human. I just, I don't know. I don't like that. It's not fair. It's just, it's really not. If you really have, I would be very unhappy. If I was in Jenny's shoes, if I was Jenny, I would be pissed at Jamie. Like that is just so messed up. So we'll see what happens. It's going to be a very interesting family reunion, probably next episode. All right. That's all for now. Thank you guys for watching with me and I will see you soon. Bye everyone.